Hello everyone and welcome to the tour of my Hogwarts build. This is the one that took me two months to finish. Um, we are here entering through inside the castle and you can see the little soldiers on the wall that I think McGonagall used in the last movie. This was the path to the courtyard that takes us to Great Hall. And if you can see the little gnome ghosts, five points to you. They were so cute, I had to use them. Then we take the back door of the Great Hall. We come to this little corridor here. It has a little room in the middle there. It had Hello Harry. It had a little, like, a build-up flowery well in it. And we come to the... Oh! <laughs> Hello, Hagrid. I forgot he was there. Uh, we are going to the hospital wing right now. Okay. And this was quite familiar for Harry in very few occasions that he was in there. And we're just taking a look at this. This is basically the grand staircase that I have going on in here. And uh, there is painting that takes us through to the Gryffindor uh, common room. And do the limited space, I had to settle them with this three, four level tower side because they were actually have to meant to have their own um, Gryffindor tower, but it was a little impossible to do. And we return to the Grand Staircase and we are going through to the Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom that you can see here. And uh, I think we are going to upstairs now, yup. We are on the third or fourth level right now and this is actually a classroom that I dedicated for the chess because of the wizard chess that Ron was amazing at in Harry and the Sorcerer's Stone, I think, uh, I think the movie was called. Or Philosopher's Stone? One or the other. And we are going all the way to the ground floor now, I think. And uh, it takes us to yet another classroom. And that little banner might have told you already that it is indeed a potions classroom. And man, do I miss Alan Rickman. He was such a great actor. One of my all-time favorites. He still is. And back to the entrance. I made a random sitting area over here. It was a big hall, so it would have made little sense to have it empty. This is Herbology classroom. And of course we are going through the outside as well to see the green rooms that weren't actually made into green rooms per se. They're just fenced areas that I thought were quite fitting for this as well. You can fit them, fit some flower arranging tables down there probably as well. Those would be pretty cool. Um, these doors on the left were actually just toilets and bathrooms. They have to be in multiple places in the castle. It is so huge. This is Ravenclaw common room and the bedrooms. I tried to do some blue <laughs> blue scene going on in here. They actually had the whole floor, the whole upper floor to themselves. I think there was no one else living on that floor. And this is of course Muggle Studies uh, classroom. Then from the sitting area again, we are going through to the courtyard. There we go, a few uh, FPS issues here as well, which is not actually a surprise with this size of a build. This is library. I actually like this area a lot. Those took me ages to line up those bookcases. They go pretty well, but they have like a line, empty space in between them when they're back to back.
we're gonna find a little bit of a hidden staircase in here and we go up and if you can tell me what room it is that we are entering right now do share it in the comments below i took this from a very specific movie with very specific idea behind it it's not the same in every movie uh, this is McGonagall's classroom right here, and I do like the color scheme here. I went with it because it just felt right. It's not all gray for the head of the Gryffindor house, so it just felt felt real and right for her. Then we are gonna go and take a turn around the corner. We have a few tables here, and then little sitting area right here, and we take a path across here to a owlery tower. We, well, we don't have owls, so I use these roosters. I didn't want to use items from the cheat too much because they get deleted as you upload the build. Then we are gonna go one more level up, and here is very famous astronomy tower that I will <laughs> try to get the camera work in. But I used that random lamp that you get from one of the careers unlocked because it has like planets and stuff on it. So I was like, oh, I mean, it could be a little bit like, you know, space like. Yeah, let's go with it. And this is a divination room. Not through the pictures, but I didn't want to put a whole lot of benches on top of each other and whatnot, so it would give the illusion of a multi level room because it would lag. The game out completely. Then we are going through the great hall to the kitchen where we actually have <laughs> a few of our guys here trying to make breakfast I assume and uh, they are having a little slow morning I think because they weren't doing much and then we enter to Hufflepuff's common room. I read somewhere that their common room would have a lot of greenery and flowers, so I thought this wallpaper with the free update would be perfect. I figured like I'll use a bright color, bright yellow, bright orange, all that whatnot, because it was just so cute. Uh, here's the second bedroom area. Then we're going through the same uh, secret door just to cut through to the corridor that is over here. And this is uh, basically one of the doors outside, the main big door there. But we are going through these uh, bookcases over here to the basement and Slytherin's common room. I don't really have anything to say about them, do I? They, I tried to keep the common room quite dim and dark and black and whatnot, so that's what I went with. <laughs> and then we are going through the other a pair of staircase behind the bookcases and go and see Mirror of Erised and of course the whole lot of issues causing Philosopher's Stone on the floor. And then we go through that big door outside to see what's going on in here. We have a little bit of a bond going on and I did put Hagrid's cottage here, here even though it should be way down the hill. But we have very limited space. And then from the same path from behind the great hall, we are gonna take a path to corridor leading us upstairs. A little bit more upstairs, there we go. And then we are going through these little gargoyle fellas into Dumbledore's office. And we are back at the entrance hall right now. We are gonna go down to the basement again, passing by these skeletons. I forgot I put them there. 
and uh, we are gonna enter the Chamber of Secrets. There is the basilisks on the side and the diary of Tom Riddle on the floor. And as last, but definitely not least, we go all the way to the top tower. All the way to the top. We have just one more staircase. There we go. And this is Myrtle's bathroom. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope my voiceover wasn't completely <laughs> out of sync with everything that was happening on the screen. Leave comments, thumbs up, remember to subscribe, all the good things, and um, I will see you in the next one. Alright, bye bye guys.